All right, welcome back, everybody. Today we're going to be picking right up where we left off in Swice Plays Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We're going to be adventuring out into the planet of Terrace, exploring the city, doing a little bit of uh, intelligence gathering, as well as resource gathering, I guess. We are stranded after landing an escape pod here after an attack on our ship from the Sith. And now we're stuck with Karth, who was the pilot of that ship, and apparently an experienced war veteran. All right. Let's see what's in the locker, if anything. Two computer spikes and some med packs. Nice. We've got a workbench here. Not much we can do with that right now. Let's talk to Karth. We've already we already learned all that last uh, last session. All right. Moving out to the apartment complex. Every time you leave the apartment, you must select which party members you wish to take. Since this is the first time you're leaving, you will have to take Karth. I will gladly take Karth. Level 4 soldier. And he's a good guy, because it's blue. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. <laughs> That's how we sit deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Alright, Sith Soldier, Battle Droid. Let's target this guy and just chuck a grenade, huh? How about that? Right, here we go. Grenade! Oh, that was effective. Won't someone come searching for this patrol? Alright, if you say so, man. Um, I'm also not entirely sure how the autosave works here, so I'm just going to go ahead and save this. Uh, we'll call this Swiss Plays. Hit OK. All right. It's a good place to save. Let's see what was in this guy's backpack. Blast rifle, frag grenade, poison grenade, adrenal strength, and adrenal stamina. Great. Low security door. Well, I don't see too many of your kind around here. Most of the residents in this rundown apartment are illegal aliens. My name is Laram, by the way. Pleased to meet you, Laram. My name is Swice Plays, a totally real name. I know it's really none of my business, but you look like someone who might need to purchase one of those new energy shields. They're the latest thing, you know, very high tech. What's so great about these energy shields? When you use one, it surrounds you with a radiant aura particle mesh that absorbs blaster bolts. Pretty handy in a fight. The shield even protects against lightsabers, or so I hear. The shields aren't perfect, of course. They can only observe so much energy damage before they burn out. And ion blasters will take your basic dueling shield down pretty quickly. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. Where did this technology come from? I heard rumors of the Akani using shields like this, but I never saw any li anything like them around here, not until the Sith came. Where they discovered the technology is anybody's guess. The shields are too rare and too expensive to hand out to an entire army. A shielded strike team can take out a whole battalion of soldiers armed with conventional blasters. It gave the Sith a huge edge in early battles, but it wasn't long before the Republic was able to copy the technology and come up with energy shields of their own. Now both sides are scrambling to come up with new weapons to slice right through the shields. But until they do, you're going to see melee combat coming back to this to the forefront of this war. Anything else? 
Not much more to say, really. Except that I've managed to get my hands on one of those shields. It isn't cheap, but it could mean the difference between life and death. You want to see what I have in stock? I know my kiosk isn't much to look at, but my prices are reasonable and my merchandise is sound. Let's see what you got for sale. Alright, so we have 69 credits. Nice. Uh, a whole plethora of, of uh, gadgets here. Let's see what we can sell. So we can sell probably this clothing. Um, we can sell, let's see. I mean, we can sell like prototype fiber blade versus a fiber blade. What's the difference? Plus one bonus to physical. So we can sell these fiber blades. We can sell these short swords. We can sell this blaster pistol. We'll hang on to the blaster rifle. Hang on to the grenades. Um, I feel like I'm not really going to use the adrenal stuff that often. But I'm going to hang on to them for now. Okay. Let's sell this longsword. I think I'll probably be using the fiber blade more often. So we'll sell this longsword. And great. Okay. Uh, let's look at his buy list again here. Military suit. Uh, defense bonus 6. Max dexterity plus 3. Heavy combat suit. Defense bonus. Uh, max dexterity bonus plus 4. Okay. Light battle armor. Defense plus seven. Alright. Um, let's see. His Viber Sword's a little bit better, but that's okay. Light repeating blaster. This weapon allows the user to fire more quickly than usual, increasing the chances of survival without drastically changing the amount of equipment you would normally carry. Energy shield is 154 credits. Stealth field generator, sound dampening stealth unit. Uh, I mean, I don't really, maybe we want to buy some armor. Like this uh, battle armor or something. Or actually maybe the heavy combat suit. Because I think we have a combat suit right now. That's plus four, this is plus five. Uh... I'm going to hang on to my cash, I think, for now. We'll hang on to the cash. All right, let's keep looking around. Here's a low security door. Let's see if we can't hack into it. Got it. Aha. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. I'm sorry, I was just investigating the area. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig, Holden. Holden? Who's that? Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. What do you mean? I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Persuade. You can trust me. Maybe I can help. No, I don't think so. I can't afford to trust anybody right now. Please, just leave me alone. Tell me what's going on or I'll end all your problems. Permanently. Okay, I'll tell you. J just try and stay calm. The last thing I need is trouble with you and Holden. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. Is there anything I can do to help? I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. Maybe I could speak to Holden for you. Could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. I'll be going now. Goodbye and good luck. 
I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. Dark side points gained because we threatened her. Haha. -ha. So we do have a level up available, but again, I'm going to save that. Let's see what's in these bags. Let's take it. Is she mad at me? No? All right. Good. Uh, I did get some dark side points because I threatened her, but that's all right. All right, let's uh, open this security door too. Keep breaking into people's apartments. Hello, Twi'lek. Don't hurt me. All right, let's take all your stuff. Somehow we don't get dark side points for that. From just stealing from people. Okay, that exits. Let's open up this door too. Got it. Please don't hurt me. Well, you can give me your med pack and credits. Maintenance droid. Nothing there. Let's pop open this door too. No problem. Got I love the exploring aspect of this game. An empty room with a footlocker. Nothing can go wrong. See, we're fine. Hello, janitor. Hey there. What, what, what were you walking? I just cleaned those floors. Sorry, I didn't know. Well, all right then. No hard feelings. My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? I never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Hmm. You look like an off-worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. I want to ask you some questions. Tell me about Terrace. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower level. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be fine. You also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in Upper City. Where is the cantina? Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper street there. Then. And from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. I'll be going now. I should get back to work anyway. I'll probably see you around. I'm here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. All right. So this is my apartment then. So then we'll just head back around and make our way out to the city. All right. Upper City South, here we come. Journal entry added. So we can talk to a bunch of people. I heard there's a swoop gang war in the lower city. They say you can get shot just walking in the streets down there. There's a whole bunch of whole bunch of stuff they can say. One of the nice things about this game is how much attention they paid to the little details. The other everybody's dialogue and all that. Something seems to be bothering Karth. Maybe you should speak to him and see if you can get him to open up about it. Sure. Yes, what's in your mind? I'd like to know some more about you, Karth. Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. I've seen more than a shoot wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this stuff. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these sick animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. You're talking like it's your fault, like you failed somehow. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. I'm sorry, Karth. I didn't mean to upset you. No, I, I know. Don't worry about it. I just, I'm, I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. You got it. All right, let's do some exploring into the city now. There's a shop. 
whole nother area that way. Equipment Emporium. I don't really think there's anything I'm gonna want to buy. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kevlar Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. All right, let's see what you got for sale. Just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. All right, we'll take a quick look here just to see if there's anything we're interested in. That is super expensive. Um, yeah, I can't afford it, but that'd be interesting. Sith sniper rifle, huh? That seems fun. Oh, that's really expensive. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to afford anything here for now. That's all right. We'll come back later. We're going to be on Terrace for quite a while, actually. So we'll have the chance to find some stuff. Don't bother me. I'm here on official Sith business. But sorry, I just want to talk. This is the cantina entrance, huh? So we could go into the cantina. I'm going to head back out to the main drag and explore the rest of the city before I go there. But we'll come back to the cantina because I think that's actually where we want to go next. But let's see what's out on the main thoroughfare here. Look at all these Sith. Alright, so down at this end of the thoroughfare, what do we got? Upper City North. Gavik says you missed your last payment. Here, I, I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? <laughs> No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but we can just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Leave this man alone, or you'll have to deal with me. All right, let's get him. Let's power up a uh, power shot here first, and then we'll just attack him. Light side points gain. Great. Oh, I missed him. That's all right. They're pretty easy. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Davik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. Maybe I can help you. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. Here's 100 credits. Take them. You're giving me 100 credits? Just like that? I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You're giving him 100 credits? Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away. Light side points gained, experience points gained, and credits lost. That's all right. I think we're going to make a push for light side early game so we can make the harder decisions the way we want to make them later game, which might be the dark side. You know, who knows? Who knows? All right, what is this? A medical facility. Let's see what we got here. Gurney. Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. That's funny that his name is Gurney in a medical facility. Beep, boop, beep. Thank you. I see from your appearance that you are an offworlder. Still, you are welcome here. No 
not have it said that Selka Foreign refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Rat ghoul disease? What's that? The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. There no cure? Mm, there is no antidote for the disease. Though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. I don't see how that's going to happen. Maybe I could find a way to get my hands on that serum for you. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them. They hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Don't worry, Zelka. I'll get that serum for you. Please, don't say that. If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh... I don't think so. I'll be going now. Good health to you. If you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. Great. Can I go in this back door? Let's try and unlock it. Got it. Ha! What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. Hey, I recognize these men. They're public soldiers. You recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless you're a friend of the Republic. I'm a friend of the Republic. You can trust me. I, uh, I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they are hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. Is there anything I can do to help? I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Light side points gained. Great. Look at all these Bakta tanks. Alright. Well, I think we've explored the thoroughfare. Let's you there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the rat gold serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. An offer? What are you talking about? Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the rat gold serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can. If you can get the cure. Why does Davik want the cure so badly? Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Why do you care who gets the cure? Look, Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. What if I tell Zelka you're helping Tabby get the cure? Hm, I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? But be smart about this. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. Where can I find Davik if I want to give him the cure? Davik isn't the kind of guy you could just walk up to, you know. He likes to keep his business at arm's length. The best thing to do is to take the Rat Ghoul serum to Zax. He runs the Lower City Bounty Office, but everyone knows he also works for Davik. He'll make it worth your while. I'll keep your offer in mind. And then 
only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rat Ghoul Serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Alright, so we have options. Alright, I'm gonna head back to the cantina now. After the cantina, we can move on to other parts of the city, but since it's on this level anyway, I feel like we might as well hit it up. Get whatever whatever information we can out of there. Alright, to the cantina. Do 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 Don't you just love watching the Kazak players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Body Vaughn, have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> I wanna play Pazak, but I don't have a deck. You don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, go speak to old Garok on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. All right. So we have a little option there. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits, and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Sure, I'll buy your deck. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I'd like a Pazak lesson. Alright, before each Pazak match, you must select 10 cards to form your side deck. Four of these cards will be randomly drawn to form your hand during the match. The basic Pazak deck has two of each card numbered plus one to plus five available to create a side deck. You will need to find other side deck cards as you play Knights of the Old Republic with values ranging from plus or minus one to plus or minus six. Select 10 cards now to form your deck. All right, well, we've only got Two of each, so that makes simple decisions. All right, the object of the game is to have your face is to have your face up cards total higher than your opponent's hand without exceeding a total of twenty. If a player's total is greater than twenty at the end of a turn, a bust, the opponent wins the set. The player must win three sets to win the match. The first player draws a card from the main deck and then plays it face up to begin their turn. This is done automatically. This is your hand for the match. It is made up of four cards randomly drawn from the side deck you selected earlier. These cards have to last through all the sets of the match. Okay. After drawing a card, a player has the option of playing one of the cards from their hand. You can only play one card from your hand each turn by dragging it onto the board or by double clicking it. Playing a card from the hand is optional. Tip, if your total is over 20 after your draw and you have a negative card in your hand, you can play it to bring your total back under 20. During your travels, you might find cards that can be played as either a negative or a positive value. These cards are very rare, but they give Pazak players a strong tactical advantage. A hand card must be declared as positive or negative before it is played. While it is in your hand, you can flip it back and forth but once it is played, its value cannot be changed. Player's turn is over when they select either in turn or stand. If you choose in turn, you will draw another card on your next turn. If you choose stand, you will not draw any more cards, and you cannot play any more cards from your hand until the next set of the match. You may now choose your play. You may now choose to play a card from your hand to in turn or to stand. All right, uh, let's play like a plus three. You can only play one hand card each turn. Playing a hand card is optional. You never get more than the four hand cards you start a match with, so you might want to save until the end. Okay. Cool. We'll just pass. Alright, we'll in turn. 
your opponent uses the same rules you do. Each turn they draw a card, and then they have the option to play a hand card to in turn or to stand. All right. So we're at 10, they're at 10. They're at 12. I'm at 20. If a player's total is exactly 20, they automatically stand. The opponent can continue to play until they stand or bust. The set is tied. A match continues until one player has won three sets. Ties do not count. You're never given more hand cards in the match, so use the four hand cards you have carefully. All right, let's give this a shot. Ooh, he got a 10. I got a 10. Let's see. 16, we do have the plus four. That's 20 for me. And he busts, great. The match continues until one player has won three sets. Yep, got it. All right. 18, huh? Let's try a stand there. Hey, we got him. Oh, we had a minus card. No. That's all right. He only has two cards left in hand. Nineteen. Let's stand at nineteen. Seems good. Twenty-two. Hey, we got him. All right. So now we are winning two to one. Let's use a card to make twenty. All right, we're tied. So we go into another match. Oh, so many little cards. 14, we could stand. He, is he standing? Is there a way to tell if he's standing? I'm gonna make 19, because that forces him to hit. Hey, we won. The match is over. Lost 50 credits, got a Pazak deck. Great. All right. I'm going to play one game against Niklos. Let's play. All right. Let's wager 40 credits, sure. Keep in my deck. All right, come on. Seventeen, huh? Seventeen. Let's let's uh let's stand at seventeen. See what happens. Oh, we got eighteen. Okay, that's fine. Round two. Eighteen. Let's let's go to twenty. Oh, he had a minus four. Are you kidding me? Fifteen. Let's go to twenty. Nice. Seventeen, huh? We can go to nineteen and stand. I'm just, I'm gonna stand at seventeen. Ugh. All right, all right, all right. We got this. Thirteen. Oh, twenty-two. Dang. It requires both nerve and skill. Perhaps you should practice before risking your credits against such a skilled player as myself. <laughs> Unless you like losing. All right, All right goodbye. You wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris? <laughs> you know where to find me.
All right. Talk to some more people. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. You're from the military base? You don't look like one of the Sith. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith occupation force. Nice to meet you. I'm Swice Plays. Still a real name. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taras can't stand us Sith. We can make this job pretty lonely. You're just doing your job, right? I don't hold that against you. Save the sympathetic best friend act. I'm not buying it. Oh, rude. I want to out a bunch of paperwork on my day off, so let's just pretend this conversation <laughs> never happened. Now move along. All right, goodbye. What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. It wouldn't be proper for a man of my stand. All right, everybody's rude. Noted. No hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I'd guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. Something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. And everybody sucks. You know, it's bad enough the Sith conquered this planet. But do they have to come in here, relax, and rub their presence on our faces? Isn't this band great? They can't leave Terrace because of the Sith quarantine, so they've been playing here every night. Talk about a good break for us. All right, we're looking for named characters, I think. Rather than just people. I wish the off-duty Sith... I'm not here to chat. I just finished a long shift at the military base, and now I'm just... Noble youth. Why keep poor folk always smell so good? Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Sorry, I'm not your waiter. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy, and I could get you fired. Sorry, don't get upset. I'll go get that drink. That's better. Now, hurry up with our order. And here are your drinks, Miss Lavin. I apologize for the delay. All right. She was also a terrible person. I wish the off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. Wow, so there really was not that much here, huh? I can't believe oh. we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're going to miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now... I hope all of you are better down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gurlon Twofinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Jedi Duncan. He has more than two fingers. Dual spectator. Why Duncan just give the sport up? He's terrible. Okay. Twitch. Shoot first, shoot last, party with me. We'll have a blast. Are you completely insane? Blast away, open fire, shoot, kill, main. Uh, okay, goodbye then. Girl on. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring, or did you just come to watch? I want to step into the ring. See some new blood in the fight game. Things have gotten pretty stale around here lately. If you're serious about this, go talk to Azure the Hut. He's the duel organizer. He'll probably start a rookie like you out against Duncan. All right. Oh, 
Aku Ajur Hahaha Jimu kembali habis dua suata I might be interested what's in this for me 10% of all wagers that's it all right and nobody ever dies how come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride I'll do it but I want more than 10% all right I'll do it The mysterious stranger, I like it. Alright, I'm ready for a duel. Take me in. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Get I Duncan! And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Tavis dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger! Shoot him. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> I worked out for the win, huh? All right, can I enter another one right away? We got some experience points. Cool. Come see me when you're ready to fight. Okay, so we got a hundred bucks from that. Let's do it again. I'm ready for a duel. Let's do it. presentation in store for you in this corner one of the greats a man so tough even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career <laughs> i give you gerlong two fingers and in the other corner a relative we already heard that great uh power shot again why not oh i missed oh i'm a terrible shot Oh no! Yeah, we won. It's over. The fight is over. The mysterious stranger has won. Gerlach losing to a rookie. Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him, or is the mysterious stranger for real? Only time will tell. Thank you, Mr. Announcer. All right, let's uh, let's go see how much moolah we get from that. Two hundred bucks. Hey, let's run it back, huh? Yeah, I'm ready for a duel. We're going up against ice, vanilla ice. Ice, and ice, baby. Corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. Open it up with the power shot. Oh, that was terrible. All right, we're going to level up. So we don't die. All right, uh, we get a skill point here. I'm gonna put it in treat injury again. That takes us to four, which is good. We do get a new feat, so that's nice. Um, two weapon fighting, caution, critical strike. Is there anything that makes our 
late blasters more yeah plus one to attack roll with blasters faster battle rifles heavy weapons I don't think I'm really gonna be using blaster pistols so blaster rifle might be the way to go let's take that feed great We're going to get ready to queue up a med pack in case we need it. But I think we'll be okay. Ooh, we're going to queue up a med pack. Let's see if we can take her now. Alright. We'll, we'll hit up another med, med pack here. A little unfortunate that we had to use two, but so be it. Got it. Nice. It's over. The fight is over. The mysterious stranger has won. Ice is knocked out cold. Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. Yay. Alright, we got some experience. Let's go get our money. 300 bucks. Do we want to try one more? I kind of want to try one more. Let's do it. Let's do one more. Let's do it. This will be our last one, win or lose. Alright, uh, he's using a vibroblade, so I am also going to switch to a vibroblade. And I don't think there's anything else that we really need, so we'll go with this. Let's just chuck a grenade at him, turn one, huh? Oh, we missed. Oh my goodness, he dealt 17 damage. Medkit. Oh no. Oh no. Wow, he's good. He's good. All right, so that's out of our league for now. We'll be back. We'll be back. Can I not walk? Hello? Hello? Pretty impressive, stranger. Ice is no pushover. People are starting to take notice of you. They say you're the best thing to come along since Twitch stepped into the ring. If you're going to keep climbing the ranks, then I guess I'm next on your hit list, kid. I'm looking forward to it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so we can no longer walk. Not right now. Alright, uh, maybe I need to use a med pack. Now can I walk? No. Alright, there we go. That was weird. All right, let's bust this joint. Well, we made some money, so that was good. We did use some med packs, so that was bad, but we're still sitting on nine. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, let's just... Oh, we need to talk to Karth. Yes, what's on your mind? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? An interrogation you wanted, why didn't you say so? It's not an interrogation. I was just joking, though you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. Uh, 
Uh, I wasn't in a position to know what was really going on. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor. For the, the battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. What? We hoped that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastille had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I'm just a soldier. I'm sure there isn't anything unusual about that, is there? Well, I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. You'd rather I wasn't? Don't be ridiculous. You've more than proved yourself since the crash. We wouldn't have made it this far without you, but still. Are you implying I had something to do with the crash? No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested a transfer aboard happens to survive. Why would Bastila request my transfer? The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. And hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, but whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little good. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. What do you mean by surprises? I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. You do know we're on the same side, right? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone. And I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? I consider this important. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. All right. All right. All right, we're going to head up to the other side of the district. See what we got going on up here. What is this, the north side of the district? Upper North? Yeah, Upper City North. All right. Huh. If the Sith cared anything about us, they'd stop that gang war in the Lower City. Okay. New area. Maybe we'll find some new stuff. Standard door. Two apartments. Uh, sure. We'll check out the apartments. We'll do check out the apartments, and then we'll call it an episode. Hopefully these are laid out the same way. It looks like they are. No problem. Just bust open Got these it. doors. Please. Please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he, if he just gives me a little more time. Please. I don't want to die. Here. I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. What are you babbling about? You mean, you're not here to kill me? But uh, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? Maybe I could help you with some of your problems with Davik. I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zax in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. Here, I've got 200 credits you can have. You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You've saved my life. Oh, I better go give this to Davik right away. Yay, light side points. And we lost credits. But we got some back. Great. All right, next area. Nothing in here. Oh, there's a footlocker. 
Med packs, credits, and parts. Great. Hello, Mr. Sith Trooper. Just move along. There's nothing to see here. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Sith you uniforms, you say? Uniforms? What are they talking about? You're a little too curious for your own good, civilian. This doesn't concern you. I know all about the Sith interrogations. This isn't going to end well. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. Maybe the alien doesn't really doesn't know anything. Just stay out of this if you know what's good for you. I won't let you kill a defenseless prisoner. Oh, that, did I hear you right? Let us kill him? How can you stop us? Time to teach the civilian the penalty for defying the Sith. Let's kill this guy first. Power attack. Light side points gain. Let's go. Oh, I missed. Oh, pop off card. Let's go. Let's go, car. Oh, he had a lot of stuff on him. Nice. Really? We're doing this again? Alright. Oh, there's another Sith Trooper. Dude, Karth the baller. He's just killing people left and right. Hidden backs, who are they? I should be going now. Give me your stuff. Alright, can I walk now? No? Oh, this game is so buggy. I just want to walk, please. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Never mind. Can I walk? Please. Please just let me walk. Med pack. Nope, that didn't do it. Uh, hello. Yes, what's in your mind? You know anything about this place? The planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past, and things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows, and it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of. I just want to walk. You can do first person? I didn't know that. That's crazy. Uh. Hello. Sir. Alright. Well, I guess we're going to have to save and restart the game. But, that's where I will end this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Swice Plays Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic.